so welcome back to my channel. It's Artasia and Olivia. I hope you guys are doing good. So today's topic we're going to discuss being a black girl screenwriter in 2022 and who I am as a screenwriter and getting into some little Q&A about who I am as a creative. So I had a couple friends and followers and subscribers um, DM me a couple questions that they would like for me to answer on today's video. And you guys came up with some really good questions um, and I'm very excited to dive into those. So let's get started. So the first question is, who am I? Who is Artesia Olivia? Okay, I got a good answer for y'all. So I am a 24 year old black girl my mom is Haitian American, my dad is Native American and African American, and I was born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida. I went to college at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida, and then I moved to Atlanta in 2022 to pursue my dreams of becoming a showrunner and filmmaker and actor as well. And my current occupation is currently a nurse. So that's a little bit about who I am. And let's get into this next question. When and why did I start writing? So let's get into that. I started writing about April of 2022 and I've always been into arts and like the creative side, but I primarily started acting when I was a kid and then when I moved to Atlanta to pursue like my acting career and stuff, you know, I just wanted to write myself a role because it was just so hard to like get roles nowadays. So I'm like, okay, I'm a dope storyteller. I can definitely write movies and write shows. So why not write my own self a role? Um, and then not only writing my own self role, I wanted to write my peers a role and give them an opportunity to, you know, showcase their talent because sometimes it's just very hard getting started when no one knows who you are, you haven't done many projects, and then it's like a chicken and egg process, like, for you to become a good, um, actor or screenwriter or famous person, you kind of already have to have something under your belt. So I just thought, you know, writing my own stories, telling my own stories would be better. And then also another thing that made me tap into writing, this may be funny, but when I was watching like movies and TV shows, I'm like, I can make something way better than that. Or if it's good, I'd be like, you know, my show would be competing with this show right now, like for everybody's I still watch it like for all the viewers like my show would be competing it would be a top contender um so yeah I always kind of compare like my ideas to like things that I would watch myself and um I just kind of always felt like the screenwriter had you know a lot of say into the creativeness of a television show and I was just like wow like that would be dope to write my own stories and get them made so the next question is, what platforms do you write on? So I write on Celtics currently right now, but I do plan on getting Final Draft. I do have like this, um, like jailbroken version of Final Draft, but I kind of just want to get the real thing. So I haven't really been using it. So yeah, right now I'm work working on Celtics. Celtics, I'm using the free version, so you can only have so many projects working with Celtics. But I do plan on using Final Draft because that is the industry standard. So the next question is, what are my favorite formats and genres to write? Ooh, let's get into the good stuff. So, um, I'm a more of an original type girl. I like writing original television shows. I like writing original movies, feature films. I'm not really a spec kind of girl, like writing spec scripts, because my goal is not to just be a staff writer, but it's to be a showrunner and it's to be a filmmaker and a producing director. So I kind of want to write, you know, my original ideas, like, um, I feel like specs is good for like 
you know becoming a staff writer which i wouldn't mind being a staff writer but my goal is to you know be that showrunner producer director so i write original projects um my favorite i think right now is television uh, i do like writing pilots i think pilots are really fun and dope and to have like you know following episodes to go along with it like it's just a bigger story it's more than just the beginning middle and end it's just like so much more i really love television but i also um i do tap into like feature writing i'm writing a feature right now so yeah i love television and features and then for genres um i'm more of a drama type girl and i also like thriller and horror but when i say horror i'm not talking about like blood and gut horror i'm talking about like psychological thriller type horrors like ghost spirits kind of thing like nothing too crazy not like a lot of killing and blood i kind of don't really care for that yeah and i do really like scripted versus unscripted um i wouldn't mind like tapping into like unscripted like documentaries and reality shows and stuff but my main focus is scripted clearly because i'm a screenwriter so the next question is how many actual scripts have i written oh y'all trying to get nosy i see i see y'all trying to get all the tea so let me um remind you guys that the question says actual scripts that i've written so i did do a short but we kind of improv the dialogue um so i didn't technically like write it i wrote like an outline for it it wasn't like a script attached to it it was like a five minute short that we kind of did at last minute so i wouldn't count that as an actual script so my actual script count right now is one that's completed and done um which is my tv pilot it's a college drama um that i've been shopping around for about a year now and it's been doing pretty good in the uh shopping process watch my other videos so y'all can stay up to date with what's going on with uh my shopping process and shopping into big tv networks and um production companies but i'm currently working on a script right now i'm working on a feature film and it's like a horror slash psychological thriller and I'm currently on page 50 out of 90. Um, my first draft is done, but I definitely have to add 40 pages to get to that 90. So yeah, that's currently what I'm working on. And then what's in my script writer's pipeline? Oh yes, I have so many dope projects coming up. Um, so I kind of like to write like, drama mixed with like a thriller type like i like to write in, in an ominous tone even my dramas be a little spooky um so far that's kind of what i've been writing but i want to tap into other like genres and other formats um and other audiences so right now i have four tv pilots in my screenwriters pipeline that i plan on writing and I have three features that I plan on writing um so my four tv pilots one is adult comedy which is the tv mature rating I have another adult animated comedy which is the tv mature rating I have a supernatural thriller which is a tv mature rating and then I also have a family drama which is a tv 14 rating so yeah i really love the tv mature audience as you can see um but yeah definitely tapping into that animated that comedy and family is very different for me so i like to see how i write with those and then for my features i do have a family comedy that i want to write which is pg rated um a teen comedy which is rated pg 13 and then also an animated kids feature which is pg so definitely tapping into the kids the comedy and family and teens like um just kind of stepping into other realms and seeing what i like like i said even though drama and thriller and horror is my favorite and clearly it's even mature audience is my favorite but i definitely want to see where i can go um creatively and tap into these different types of genres different types of audiences so what do i want to do with my scripts kind of already
already answered that, but my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate goal is to one, to shop them to big name TV networks, streaming platforms or cable channels. So like the Netflix, the Hulu, the Star, stuff like that. Um, and then to two, get a multi-million dollar deal for my projects. And three, but still be a showrunner of my TV shows and producer director of my movies and still have an acting role if I want it. To summarize that, so I definitely want to like shop my projects, but I do want to still have complete control. Well, not complete control, but like a lot of say so in the projects. So, which I know it can be rare, but if you negotiate a deal correctly, it can happen. Um, so I do definitely want like an acting role. I definitely want that showrunner's position. I definitely want, um, to be like producer director of my projects that I write and I'm definitely a hands-on screenwriter I know some screenwriters are just like write stuff and just like sell it or write stuff and just like give it away or ghostwrite but that's not me I definitely want to be hands-on on my projects and that's why I became a screenwriter is to uh ultimately be like you know show and filmmaker and the next question is who am I influenced by creatively? I'll definitely say Jordan Peele because I love his unique voice. I love his ominous tones yet thriller. And there's some drama in there. I love his um, creativeness. And then also like ambition wise, I love Issa Rae and I love Tyler Perry. I haven't really seen any of Issa Rae's projects. However, um, I love her as a woman. I love her as a creative and like how her journey was pretty dope and similar to mine and I love Tyler Perry um I used to like a lot of his content back in the day but um lately I haven't been much of a fan of his content but like I said ambition wise I really do like uh Tyler Perry because he came from humble beginnings and he definitely rose to the top and I definitely respect him as a director, producer, writer, actor and that's exactly what I want to be like actor, writer, producer, director, all of that and he's very dope. And then some fun facts. Um, so one, some fun facts about me is I'm not a reader. Like I don't like to read books. I don't like to read magazines. I don't like to read like that which is weird. I know. I know. But I just like I don't know I feel like most writers I feel like are readers but for some reason I just don't like to read for fun kind of thing another fun fact I hate 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 writing anything besides scripts <laughs> which is weird because script is like 90 100 pages 60 90 like a whole bunch of pages but you know what I don't know it's just something about an essay that makes me cringe is something about a freaking article or whatever I just don't like reading especially books I would never ever ever write a book well I want to say never but I, I don't feel like I would enjoy writing novels or memoirs or anything like that I'm just more of a script girl and then my last fun fact is I don't like many eyes on my scripts or my ideas. <laughs> I know it's bad because, you know, we definitely need other opinions on our project. Well, especially when we're in the rewriting phase, we definitely need, you know, some critiques and we definitely need some people's opinion on our writing, professional opinion. But I just really do not like a lot of people read my script, like, because the majority of the time it's something I feel strongly about and I'm very passionate about. I don't write anything that I wouldn't watch. And I just feel like sometimes I, <laughs> I can't say criticism that well, which I'm still working on. Um, but I'm very sensitive with my work and a lot of artists are, a lot of creatives are very sensitive with their work. So I definitely understand if you're not one that's eager to share your work and get eyes on it. And also, it's always that small percentage of somebody trying to steal your idea, which majority of times they don't, but it can still happen. So always be cautious. 
So yeah, that pretty much concludes today's Q&A about my screenwriter abilities. <laughs> screenwriter abilities. My screenwriter background, I guess. So I hope you guys liked today's video. Like, um, comment, subscribe. Actually comment what um, platforms you guys are writing your scripts on. Are you guys using Celsius? Are you guys using Final Draft? Comment what are some of your favorite dramas to write. Um, I definitely would love to hear from you guys. Bye.